Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Let's go book shopping. So as you can already tell, I am in my car and I'm ready to do some used book shopping today. I'm probably going to hit possibly two or three used bookstores and just go check them out. One of them I haven't been to in probably a year or so because they have like strange hours they're like a very small kind of like a thrift store but they have a ton of books but it's like a mom and pop type shop so like their hours are sometimes kind of odd and like don't match up to the days that I go them being open so it's been forever since I've been there but their books are like 10 cents a piece so I feel like I have to go there <laughs> I'm gonna go do that and then also hit a couple other used bookstores one in particular like Value Village and then another one I'm gonna go to is where I usually take like my unhaul books and get like store credit and stuff so I always have like a massive store credit account with them so I'll just like go check out I'm not taking any books in today but I'm gonna go like see what books they have so yeah just gonna hit those stores possibly go to Barnes and Noble as well we shall see I kind of love like I've said this before I love used bookstores more than like Barnes and Noble I like the thrill and kind of hunt of finding books and like not knowing what I'm gonna find like Barnes and Noble I know what I will find in there like every time but the used bookstores, like, I never know what I'm going to find. And we're looking for some gems. And, like, that's how I have pieced together pretty much my entire historical romance collection. So, yeah, we are doing historical romance searching today. I <laughs> can't wait to see what I find. So, yeah, I'm going to go grab some coffee, probably listen to more of my audiobook, and just, like, hit the day. Like, this is my chill Saturday we don't do the hair. We don't do the makeup. We're just going out having some fun and like spending some me time. So yeah, we're going to do that. I am listening to the Zoe Draven series. I think it's the Brides of Kylor. Kylor Brides, something like that. I'll put the cover up. I am on book two now. I finished book one and that one I'm going to get four stars. This one I'm just like kind of finishing up. Probably finish it on my drive in to the city because I had started it like last night after book one. So yeah, these books are fun. Like the first one was four stars. Pretty sure the second one's going to be four stars as well which I've heard about this author for over a year now. Like so many people have recommended their books to me and I've been wanting to get to them. And so I finally am. So I decided to jump into this series just because there are only two books out right now. I don't know if there's going to be more in the series or not. I know this author has another series as well, which I feel like is something with the Horde King. And I think there's more in those. Probably get to those after because like these are fun. I'm not like love, love, loving. Like they're not five stars, but I'm having like a good time with them and they're entertaining. So... Yeah, I don't even tell you what it's about, but it's basically like alien sci-fi romances. Like the heroes in here are alien berserker vampires. So we have that going on. There is some like faded mates aspect to it or like blood mates because, you know, vampires. So they are feeding off of their ladies. And in the first book, I know she was human. In the second book, I think she's human too. Like she pretty sure like she talked about her dad was like half Kylor. These guys are too. So but I think she's just human. So yeah, they're fun. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, their, <laughs> their world is very expansive. I feel like they're a little too long, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, I think that's all I have so far. So I will check in later. <laughs>
right? So I just got out of that thrift store, which you saw there were like tons of just like paperbacks in there, mass markets. And the great thing about this place, it is a thrift store. And so the condition isn't always the greatest, but the prices are 10 cents a book. So like, can't say no. And especially I feel like I'm kind of rescuing them. So I had to grab a few. I think I got four. So I'm getting four. So I will quickly show. So I got a convenient marriage by Stephanie Lawrence. This one is super pretty. I've never seen this cover before. So I had to grab it. it says there's two full length novels of marriage and misapprehension in here. So yeah, this one's super pretty. I had to grab it. And I also got this Roberta Galis, a silver mirror. This one is stunning. I'm obsessed with this like old school cover and it has the embossed on here as well. It's just so beautiful. I can't remember if I read this author or not, but I know I have a few of her books. This one, it says it's set during King Henry the third. So this is medieval, which makes sense because of the cover now, but super pretty. And this is a Pino as well, which I love his art. So then I also grabbed this one. They also have like newer books in there as well. So this is Wild Rain by Beverly Jenkins. This one looks like brand new, but I grabbed it. I do have it already, but I feel like I can do a giveaway or like give it to a friend or something because everybody needs to read Beverly Jenkins. And it came with a signed book plate as well, which I thought was super cool. And the last one I got is this Rosemary Rogers Bound by Desire. Again, just like absolutely stunning. I love these like old school, covers so much so I had to grab that because I usually get her step back ones but this one was just too pretty to pass up and like the yellow pages I love how they used to have like you know kind of their own stained edges back in the day all right so that is my grab so far I did go to like value village as well which is another thrift store didn't find anything there so we are just gonna keep the day rolling keep it going I did get my iced coffee and yeah let's just like see what else we find So it's now actually the next day. I am back home. I had to do my hair and makeup today and take some merch photos for the companies that I rep for. So this is for Hello Lovely Box. This is their cute new Valentine's merch, which will be out by the time you watch this video. So here is this. They are embroidered. So here is the cute little detail. It says like happily ever after and they have different ones as well with like the conversation hearts. I know there's like romance reader, morally gray, a couple other ones as well. And I think they're just so cute and fun. So definitely check that out. They have them in a ton of colors and sweatshirts, t-shirts, all the things. So I was doing that and decided to hop back on here to kind of recap the day of shopping because last night when I finished, it was super dark already. And so it was hard to do any videos like in my car or at the stores. The stores yesterday were super busy as well. Hopefully you enjoyed spending the day with me. I think I have 10-ish books here to haul. So I think I already hauled these ones, but at the one of the used bookstores, they were like 10 cents a piece. So I got this Stephanie Lawrence. I've never seen this one before. And I thought the cover and the gold on here was just super beautiful. So I had to grab that one. Then I got Rose Mary Rogers bound by desire. Here is this one again, such a stunning photo. And I love the like embossed with the gold detail on here. Just so beautiful. And I think I showed they had this newer edition of wild rain by Beverly Jenkins. And it came with like a signed book plate. 
from her as well, which I thought was super cool, which I did. I met Beverly Jenkins last year. So I came home and compared that to some of the books that I've had signed by her. And that is legit her signature. So they didn't put like a random person's in there. So like I mentioned, I do have this one already, but I mean, Beverly Jenkins, 10 cents can't pass it up I'll probably like pass this one on to a friend or do a giveaway or something like that at one point point. and then this stunner this was probably my favorite one that I found this is a silver mirror by Roberta Galis it is just absolutely stunning this is a pino cover the artist that has done a ton of gorgeous step backs and covers I love his art style and I can't stand these like annoying little stickers on it so I'm gonna try to get this one off super duper carefully yes it's coming off actually kind of nicely there we go because it's totally covering up. There we go. All right, so it came off, but it was covering up the like night little detail here. So I had to uncover that. <laughs> but yeah, obsessed with this one. Can't wait to share it like on a cover list Friday or something like that on Instagram. It's so, so pretty. All right, and then at the used bookstore that I go to where I have like trade credit and stuff, I found these ones. So these are like some newer ones. So first up I grabbed It Had to Be a Duke by Vivian Lorette. I've heard so many people say that this was one of their favorite historical reads of last year. I think it came out in possibly November or December towards the end of last year. So I definitely wanna to get to it soon. So I had to grab this copy when I found it. Like I said, I have trade credit there from taking in like unhauls and books that I don't want anymore on my shelves. So I always use like the trade credit to then bring home books. So this is this one. This is the first book in her Liars Club series. Let me know if you read this one. Like I said, I've heard so many people love it and I can't wait to get to it really soon. Then they also had some Mariana Zapata there, which I have read Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I read it years and years ago and I really enjoyed it. I kind of want to reread it again, but I'm also kind of worried to reread it because it's been so long. The hero in this one, I think the hero is the Canadian one and the heroine is his assistant and they have to be like a marriage of convenience for somebody's visa. Maybe his, maybe hers. I don't remember. Either way, this is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. This is the like indie cover and I never bought any of her books. So I had to grab it when I saw it there because she has been picked up by a publisher, I think with Avon. And so they've done a new cover for her, which I didn't love. I think I showed it in the store as well. It was actually there as well, but I wanted this kind of like indie cover. So here is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. And they also had All Roads Lead Here, also by Mariana Zapata. This one I haven't read actually, but I have heard that people like it. So I am curious to get to it. I think I grabbed the audiobook like last year during Audible's like big big sale that they did at the beginning of the year. So I do have the audio. I also think this cover is just kind of pretty and had to grab it when it was there because like I might love it. All right and then I went to Barnes and Noble. I decided to stop there after all and so I grabbed two books there both hardcovers. So first up I grabbed this stunning cover of One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I absolutely love this book. It is so good. It has a little bit of like time travel in it as well. Sapphic romance so good. I read it when it first came out a couple years ago. I saw Tori from Novel Life share this back in I want to say like Black Friday time frame around then. Her store had it and I went to check at my store and my store just got them in. It took that long for it to get here. So I am glad they finally got it because I was able to grab it. So there's like a special collector's edition. So it has the gold on here and it is pink. And then I really love the like light pink sprayed edges. And it is absolutely stunning underneath the dust jacket. So it says a time, a place, a person. Love that. Then it has the foiling on there. Then on the back is like the converse. Love that. And also has some art. And how gorgeous is that? This is on the subway where they meet. And then the back as well has a different art, which I love. I was expecting it to be the same art print on both sides, but it wasn't on the end pages. So I am very excited to have this beautiful cover now. Then this one was on the 50% off hardcover table. So that is the sticker, which is gonna come off. But this is Queen Charlotte by Julia Quinn and Shonda Rhimes. So they did this book together as well as the TV show adaption for it. And I watched the show and really, really loved it. Loved it way more than Bridgerton season two, but that is a story for another time. <laughs> but so I wanted to grab this one just because it was 50% off and it's a hardcover. So it does have this tie in with the show cover. And then this was super cool, which I didn't realize until after. Then on the opposite side, it has a different cover as well. So I kind of love that with like the reversible dust jacket. So I thought that was so pretty. So like I said, 50% off, had to grab it. So that was my haul for the day. Just a quick little go shopping with me adventure. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of the books that I talked about or if you picked up some books and did some book shopping recently as well. Also let me know, are you a fan of like used bookstore shopping or like traditional Barnes and Noble new bookstores? Like, let me know that. I would love to know. So if you want to leave me an emoji instead in the comments to let me know that you watched, you can do that as well. You can leave me like a shopping bag, shopping cart, book stack, something like that since we went shopping for this day. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in my next one.